G'day and welcome to another video. In today's lesson we will learn how to make this really easy cobweb. It is a great project for beginners and there is a free written pattern located on my website. All the links that you need are in the description box of the video. The yarn that I'm using is from redheart.com. Redheart.com is a great place for inspiration for your next project. So let's get started on the lesson. For our supplies, we're going to need some yarn. I'm going to just use Red Heart Super Saver today. This is a worsted weight yarn, which is equivalent to a 10 ply. You can use 8 ply, and I would suggest a 4mm crochet hook for that one. We're going to need a yarn needle with a large eye, a pair of scissors, and a crochet hook to go with your yarn. I'm using a 5.5mm crochet hook, and that is also a eye size crochet hook. And that's what's recommended to use with this yarn. So what we need to do is grab our yarn. And this pattern is really easy to adjust. If you find that your chain sections are really loose or if you find that they're really tight, you can add or subtract more chains to uh, suit your pattern. If you want it to be looser, you add more. And if you want it to be tighter, you take some off. So this project will start with a magic ring you could also use chain four and join it's up to you oops got my crochet hook in the wrong side so we're just going to pull through do a chain to secure and the first one starts with the first round has two chains between each stitch so we need to do a chain three and then add two chains so that's a chain five Into the ring we're going to do a double crochet. We're going to add two chain. We're going to work a double crochet into the middle. Two chain. We're going to repeat that so double crochet two chains around until we have eight double crochets and chain twos. So I've got three because the first part there, the chain three counter is our first stitch. So one, two, three. So we're going to continue on. And you could change up again the amount of double crochets that you put in the middle. So I have eight stitches. Our chain three counts as number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've just done a chain two. And then we're going to join. And when we join, and, and each row is the same, we count up three chains and we join into the third chain. So one, two, and three. Going through there. And then working a slip stitch to join. And we can pull the center, just pulling that strand at the back. That will close up the middle. So we always start with a chain three. And each row, as we go along, sorry, each round, because we join them, each round will gain two chains in between our double crochet stitches. So on this row, we did two chain. So on the next row, because we're going to add two chain, we're going to gain, sorry, we're going to gain two chain. So we're going to have four chains all together. So we've got one, two, three for our first stitch. So we want to add four chain. One, two, three, four. And double crochet into the next double crochet. And that's what we're going to do on every round. We only double crochet into the double crochet. We're going to chain four into the next stitch we're going to do a double crochet so into there we're going to skip away our chains because we don't work into those we only work into a double crochet one two three four grab the next one and go into there again we're going to work this all the way around 
and I'll make when we get up to here. So when we get to the end, again we're going to join into the third chain. So one, two, three. what we've got so far and again like I said if you find that these are too tight your chains and uh, if it's too loose you can adjust that but for this pattern I'm just adding an extra two each round so chain up three so we had four chain on this round so then the next round because we're going to gain two each one we're going to add six so we want to add six so one two three four five six into the next double crochet which is here we're going to work a double crochet chain six chain seven into the next double crochet we're going to work a double crochet it's pretty easy this pattern isn't it so chain six In that one we're going to work a double crochet and we're going to repeat this all the way around and I'll meet with you when we get back to here so I've just done my chain six and then we're going to join to the third chain one two three so each row will continue on like this and I'll show you how to do the next row but then you can just continue on and make it as big as you like so it's chain three for your first stitch so this row had six, so now we want to put eight chains. And we're going to work a double crochet into the next double crochet. Eight chain. And double crochet into the next double crochet so like I said you can continue on and each row you will add two more chains to the ones that to the from the previous row so we have eight on this row we will have ten chains on the next row and then just working your double crochets into your double crochets and then you can work this as large as you like in a moment you will see how big mine is I have completed nine rounds and I have 16 chains in between my double crochets so when you've got to the size that you want and of course if you want to add more keep going and if you find that it's curling up on you like this will actually lay flat but if you find that the sides are curling up and it's kind of looking like a hat add more chains in between your rows in between your double crochets sorry so when you finish off it's this is optional uh, leave a long tail because you can use this to tie your cobweb to where you want to place it. So I can't actually hold this open because it's too big. <laughs> but it's looking super cool. And I can't wait to put this somewhere up around the house. It's going to look really cool. So this is also optional. Get off some long strands of yarn so I'm going to cut off two or three so that when you put your spider's web up you can you've got some strands to hang it up with so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my strand of yarn and I'm going to find whoa, the top of the double crochet and I'm going to join it in there I'm going to tie a knot and then I'm going to sew in the ends of the little short end. Spin it round. And I'm just going to repeat this on various points. Depending where you want to hang it up as well, you might want to have a look at where you need to attach your yarn so that your spiderweb hangs properly. over that side so then we're going to grab our 
sewing needle and then we're just going to sew these short ends and hide them. Here is my finished cobweb. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a quick and fun project to make. Please share your creations on our Facebook and Google Plus page. We would love to see the colours and size that you have made your cobweb. There is now a free newsletter located on my website. You can subscribe to this newsletter and it will be delivered directly to your email inbox. All the details that you need are in the description box. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy crochet.